Alec Baldwin was going to get off one way or another. That's what everyone thought because he was a Democrat. He's on the correct side of the political spectrum. That has long been the hypothesis. It has now happened in a shocking twist. Alec Baldwin has um, had his case thrown out with prejudice, meaning it is done. It's been a long, crazy road to get here. He's been charged, then uncharged, and then charged again, and then uncharged, and then new prosecutors, and then charged, and and it's been it's been crazy. And everyone's like, I don't know if it's going to happen. But this prosecutor really wanted it, and everyone was wondering how how is it going to get tossed? Well, it got tossed due to what is known as a Brady violation. The prosecution withheld evidence. Evidence that is uh, important and exculpatory. And they with, withheld it. It's a Brady violation. Now, some people are saying, hey, this evidence that was withheld, not that important. We'll talk about that after. But let's go into the facts or the, the, the story, rather. Because this has some pretty far-reaching uh, consequences, not just for Alec Baldwin, who is now a free man and never has to worry about this ever again, but also Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. She got 18 months. She's serving in a New Mexico prison right now. This evidence was also withheld in her trial. She deserves an entire new trial. Not only does she deserve to be released from jail right now, while a new trial is is um, started up, she deserves an entirely new trial, new prosecutor, new everything, which is pretty darn crazy. No one really anticipated it to go as shocking as what it did. So here we go. Alec Baldwin from the New York uh, Post. Alec Baldwin sobs, breaks down as judge tosses out rust involuntary manslaughter case in a shocking twist. Alec Baldwin's involuntary manslaughter case was abruptly thrown out in a stunning development Friday as New Mexico judge slammed prosecutors for withholding critical evidence from the defense. And again, it has to be critical evidence for it to be a Brady violation. Baldwin, 66, sobbed in a Santa Fe court as the charges stemming from the fatal shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust were suddenly tossed. It almost came out of the blue. Everyone was like, what's happening? None of this makes sense. Is there a plea deal forming? Are they just going on recess? Is it being put on pause? But no, like having a mistrial with prejudice is one of the most extreme sort of things that can happen. Usually a judge will take some time to think about it. But this judge immediately went to that. The judge acknowledged, hey, it's extreme. I'm going to do it. So that leads people to think. There was one way or another this was going to get tossed, and it, it's almost like the judge took the first, the, the first thing she could do to prevent it from getting to the jury. Now, maybe you need to be conspiratorial to think that. Other people are very happy and very excited. They're like, wow, this is so crazy. That prosecution was so corrupt. I mean, th there's two sides to this. The dad of eight, that's Alec Baldwin, hugged his wife, Hilaria. That's not a real name. It's not a real name, Hilaria. Oh, it's so funny. Anyways, he hugged his wife, Hilaria Baldwin, who was also crying before climbing into an SUV without speaking to the media. I mean, Alec Baldwin, is, he's, been, he's been a real sort of POS. He's been a real jackass this entire trial. And it's only gone a couple of days, three, three days, this thing. Leaning in his seat, slouching over, like getting up. While like the prosecution's talking, he just gets up and like walks out. Everyone's like, whoa, hey, what is happening? He had zero respect for the court. On that alone, he should have spent a day or two in jail. So following a full day of hearings outside of the jury's presence, Judge Mary Marlo Sommer said the sanction of dismissal is the only warranted remedy and ruled that the charges could not be filed again because it's with prejudice. They're done. He's free. 
The late discovery of this evidence during trial has impeded the effective use of evidence in such a way that it has impacted the fundamental fairness of the proceedings, Marlowe Summer said in court. The shock ruling came on the third day of trial in the involuntary manslaughter case in which Baldwin, who's in the midst of shooting a reality TV show focused on his brood, faced a maximum of 18 months behind bars for the death of Helena Hutchins, the film's cinematographer. So isn't that, isn't that kind of funny, right? He's filming his reality TV show about his life and his family of kids, you know, almost like Johnny K plus eight, but it's Alec and Hilaria Baldwin plus eight or whatever. He's filming his reality TV show about all of that stuff, and he gets a shock in the third day of trial. So it's not even stretched out to the max. It's the third day of trial. He gets a shock thing, like as if he has a horseshoe right up inside of his colon, almost as if it were scripted. It's honestly unbelievable how lucky this guy is. The judge sent the jury home early Friday after lawyers for the 30 Rock Star filed a motion to dismiss the case, claiming that live ammunition related to Hutchins' 2021 shooting was concealed from them. The state is highly culpable for its failure to provide this evidence to the defendant, Marlowe Summer said. The state's willful withholding of this information was intentional and deliberate. If this conduct does not rise to the level of bad faith, it certainly does come so near to bad faith as to show signs of scorching prejudice. When you hear that, you think this prosecution was like, oh my God, we have the smoking gun that says Alec Baldwin didn't do it. This piece of evidence that we have right here, these, these live ammunition bullets, this piece of evidence, it's going to free him. It's going to set him free. And so we, we will hide it. We will hide it so the sun will never rest upon it or whatever. I don't know. I, I don't know how to be dramatic. But the, you, it, it sounds like, like everything the judge is saying, it sounds like the prosecution was super corrupt and evil. It actually just turned out because this prosecution wasn't the prosecution that started the case. That they, um, <laughs> when they came in, they fired everybody. This prosecution came in, fired everybody, and didn't realize what had been placed where, and actually just lost a track of some evidence. Evidence that actually didn't really have a whole lot to do with anything. But the judge was like, this piece of evidence, it was so important. Was it, though? Was it so important that it was going to prove whether or not Alec Baldwin held the firearm up to Helena Hutchins and pulled the trigger, the evidence has got nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it at all. It's crazy. That's why some people are thinking the judge took the first off-ramp off, like, out of this thing and just went with it. The allegation prompted a marathon hearing where some are heard from several witnesses, including the prosecutor, Mary, sorry, Carrie Mose. Morrissey taking the stand herself, claiming the ammunition was not connected to the case and had not been hidden. Rust armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who had already been convicted on involuntary manslaughter charges at a separate trial, was slated to testify Friday before uh, the judge paused proceedings. The court had already heard testimony from the, the sheriff's crime scene technician, Marissa Popple, who uh, Baldwin's attorney grilled over what they suggested was a shoddy and subpar hunt for the live ammunition that killed Hushins. Defense attorney Alex Spiro argued that a mysterious Good Samaritan brought in bullets said to be the ammunition that killed Hutchins to the sheriff's department after Gutierrez Reed had already been sentenced to 18 months behind bars. Spiro said that investigators had buried this evidence and it had not been shared with the defense in either Baldwin's case or that of Gutierrez Reed. Which is why I'm saying Gutierrez Reed gets a whole new trial. She needs to be released from prison immediately and like replaced on bail and then tried again. 
But, I mean, if we're going for fairness, she should probably just be released because Baldwin's gone. He's Baldwin is done. There's no more charging him. You would need an entirely different crime. And so it kind of sucks that Gutierrez Reed would be back on the hook. Prosecutors argued that the Good Samaritan was a friend of Gutierrez Reed's father and did not match the live ammunition that was found on the set of Rust. The allegations also come as Spiro suggested that law enforcement accelerated their search so prosecutors could focus on Baldwin, especially because some investigators created a close relationship with the film's weapon supplier in the aftermath of the tragedy. It took investigators just one day to search the church where the shooting took place, but another week for investigators to obtain a search warrant to search the supplier's prop truck, Spiro said. So the widow of the cinematographer who was killed by Alec Baldwin in, in, the, in the shooting has demanded justice after the actor's case was dismissed. Matthew Hutchins, who was married to the victim, Helena Hutchins, for 16 years, said in a statement, after the shock ruling that he respects the court's decisions, but hopes proceedings against the actor were not done for good. So he will need to look up what, what it means for something to be dismissed with prejudice. It means it's done for good. That's it. You're done. Finito. All done. Goodbye. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You know, that kind of thing. They would need an entirely different charge. A whole different crime in order to haul Baldwin back in. We look forward to presenting all the evidence to a jury and holding Mr. Baldwin accountable for his actions in the senseless death of Helena, he said. Well, that's that's just that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, my friend. So the elderly father of Rust Armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed has welcomed the sudden dismissal of Alec Baldwin's manslaughter case and says his daughter's conviction should now also be overturned. Well, it should possibly be overturned. At at the very, very, very least, she's released from jail while a new trial spools up. Speaking exclusively to Daily Mail, legendary Hollywood armorer Thel Reed said Hannah has been made a scapegoat over the tragic shooting death of producer Helena Hutchins. That's actually kind of true. She was made um, a scapegoat. Although, I mean, again, she was kind of the armorer, so she was kind of a part of it. Bell Reed has said, uh, well, I think it's good that Baldwin's, um, I think it's good, of speaking of Baldwin's dismissal, I think Hannah's case should also be dismissed. There's a lot of evidence that hasn't been heard at all. They suppressed all the important evidence, and I guess Baldwin's attorney brought it out. And so we have here. The law of self-defense. Andrew Bronca. Andrew Bronca really sort of knows what he's talking about. So he says, regarding the Alec Baldwin man slaughter dismissal based on purported Brady violation by the prosecution. Evidence improperly withheld from the defense. The supposedly withheld evidence had to do with the source of the round that Alec Baldwin used to kill Helena Hutchins. He says, I'm struggling to understand how the source of the bullet is material to Alec Baldwin pointing what he knew to be a real gun at Helena Hutchins, cocking the hammer, and pulling the trigger without ensuring no live rounds in the gun, killing her. So, where the heck that bullet came from, what store, how it got to wherever is completely irrelevant to the fact that it was in the gun and he failed to do the things he was supposed to do and then he shot the lady. Bronco goes on to say, after all, if a drunk driver commits involuntary manslaughter by running over a grandmother in the crosswalk, is it material where he sourced the fuel for his car. If not material, it's not Brady material subject to disclosure. In which case, this Alec Baldwin dismissal is in error. So now now some of the law tube people are um, 
sort of hopping on that. Some of the lawyers say it's good. Some of them say it's not good. What we do know is it's literally, as it says in the title, in a shocking twist. So that's that Alec Baldwin has a horseshoe up his ass. The, uh, the, the trial is done. It's all done. And he's got a really sweet, really sweet, I guess, subplot or plot in his reality show. I mean, the only thing he's going to wish now is that, you know, this happened, I don't know, farther down in his trial because, you know, day three, he's gonna really going to have to stretch that out, I guess. He's going to have to stretch it out to make some drama of it or something. But anyways, that's that's what happened. The uh, prosecution di didn't hand over all the evidence. They thought some of it wasn't very important. The judge spurred out, said, no, that's very important. And shockingly, uh, nuked the, the entire thing. So that's that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Do like, subscribe, share um, on, on, on Rumble, YouTube, and on Twitter. All of those things. Uh, thanks again. I love you all. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.